Look, switching to 10-bit editing is so easy, it hardly requires a tutorial. Just head up to your project card up here on the top left, go to the video tab, and where it says GPU precision, change from 8-bit to 16-bit. There we go. Easy as that, you now have up to 16-bit editing and export available to you. But the most cameras you'll be working with are probably outputting 10-bit at the most. The fact we go higher than that is mainly for future-proofing. To use this now, you simply need to bring in some footage shot in 10-bit. The advantage of this is primarily an issue of quality. 8-bit videos can display over 16.7 million colors. Now, that might sound like a lot, but when you switch to 10-bit video, you can use more than 1 billion colors for your footage. Suddenly, that 16 million is not sounding as good. Having all this extra color and contrast available to you allows far more control when adjusting your color, contrast, and brightness, and a loss of quality will not be an issue for you. Overall, this is going to give you far better looking imagery, more natural colors, smoother transitions, and removes issues like banding that are common with 8-bit footage. If you have 10-bit footage available to you, then you should always edit in 10-bit mode to ensure you're getting the most from your footage. 10-bit footage can be more intense and may well slow down your computer, but you can always get around this by using proxies or editing in 8-bit and then just switching to 10-bit for any color work and your final export.